because he had help. It was him and his his pet goon, the skeleton guy that I think is true from a ghoul. And um, morbid. Some other person, yeah. He used to be Jim Moran's or Jimmy uh, Jim Moran's and Misery Box. I've been looking into it. I'm gonna start looking more into it. Maybe do a documentary of him. <laughs> documentary. <laughs> yeah, there was. Oh, I think he's too. lost like three chances. <laughs> I don't know jack shit the- about Betty, honestly. So stay tuned uh, Sunday, possibly, but definitely either Saturday or Sunday, you'll get a live from me. And then hopefully one before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Betty, Betty, Betty. Bullhorn Betty. Uh, let me see. When was that again? Was it uh, Tuesday, right, guys? Um, let me just double check. You guys remember when Bullhorn Betty's going to do a interview with me? Was it Wednesday? Uh, let me just make sure. Yes, I'm sorry, it's not Tuesday. It would be Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Uh, Wednesday the 22nd at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm really looking forward to this uh, interview with Betty. I think it's going to be historic and amazing. And it's happening. And that's what I love. I just want to create, entertain, chill, have fun. And that's it. Nothing serious. It's all for entertainment purposes and making our lives a little bit lighter and happier or, you know, if we could smile and forget about all the hardships we go through and stress and all that stuff so i'm definitely looking forward to the bullhorn betty interview this coming wednesday september 22nd 6 p.m eastern standard time Uh, i'll be promoting it too and special shout out and thanks to her for being such a good sport to do that i mean that blows my mind that she would even accept that offer and uh so much respect to her and then we're gonna get to know her a lot better than we probably do so and i'm not gonna softball did you think i was a softballer and didn't ask her questions that people wanted to get answers to i i I I said are you a racist i i straight up asked her that I don't know jack shit the, about Betty, honestly. I promo feel a little promo discount code when you check out at Trump2024 swag. Trump2024. Let's do it. White power. Yes. White Trump, 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 Trump. Trump. Oh. Trump. Do it. White power. Yes. White Trump. Trump. Call me a racist. I'm still not fucking complying. Still not doing it. I mean, you did great. I just think the thing is, so many people are already so blinded by their hate of Betty that they want you to ask questions like, well, what about the 30,000 assaults against your ex? And they want you to go places that you weren't going to go. I don't know that information. No one asked, and I didn't see that come across. I would have asked if it was there. Yeah. I just didn't know. There's a lot of. uh, Because I don't know jack shit about Betty, honestly. To be honest with you. The point. I don't know jack shit about Betty, honestly. Like I always say, you know, I, I, people complain about my past, but had I not walked down the oh, road, you, oh, oh, I walked how many baby? Road. Well, Betty, how many babies have you killed? How many so babies? Far none. So far, none. Oh, but, but wait, wait, wait. So they have a bigger problem with you beating the guy's ass and busting his nose than who probably fucking deserved it. Who knows? But it's okay to send money and back up a man who showers and sleeps naked with a five-year-old girl. Yeah. yeah. And a mother. How many so, far none. so far, none. Oh, but wait, wait, wait. So they have a bigger problem with you 
beating a guy's ass and busting his nose, then who probably fucking deserves it, who knows? But you need us. And guys, it's not like it's not like you don't even know you like you know you need us. Like your house is trashed. You don't know which direction you're going. You don't even know how to cook a fucking meal. You don't know how to balance a checkbook. You know shit. Literally, let's face it, guys. You guys are helpless. The reason why you respect women, well, my kind of woman, is because one, she would beat the ever-loving shit out of you if you disrespect her. Let's be honest. <laughs> my kind of woman would be willing to go to jail over disrespect, just saying. Just get this right, okay? Would you get this right, please? So at least the people that are hearing you bash me may consider me as a possibility you know, because I'm sick and tired of being alone. I've been alone for about five and a half years now. Let's, let's put that in perspective. I think I'm past the whole getting over, using people, you know, whatever that whole, um, you know, cycle is. I mean, you guys know it. I, I don't know. It. I, it's my first divorce. My first divorce. Because I don't know jack shit about Betty, honestly. That was my whole point was to, to present a different side of her that nobody has heard of because I went from her childhood. I don't know if you listened from the beginning. And yeah, I did. And all the way through her. We we're climbing all the way up that her, ladder. Her react. I mean, her interaction with her uh, uh, folks and how she grew up. So you could kind of get the psychology behind what, you know, where she's coming from. I mean, I did everything possible to really present to the people and the viewers, uh, a perspective. You're not going to get anywhere else. Nobody asked her those questions ever before. I guarantee goddamn T it, it's just not going to yeah. happen. And I really wanted to get into a lot of things that nobody touched upon um may i say one thing my childhood was horrible and i talk about this on my channel a lot there was it was filled with abuse alcohol lots of stuff um i'm not going to go into any other than that because that's what i've shared with my audience about my life but i guarantee you go in my home and you look at every single photo in a photo album every person in my house looks like a normal effing family every person you would unless you live next to us and heard the screams coming out of my house the screams, the broad blood curdling screams. You would think we were the picture perfect family. Had the money, had the the pretty kids and the nice dresses. The wife that always had her hair up, always dolled up. Perfect, picturesque family. Every photo you would ever see of my family is of happy times. And as as horrific as that was as a child to witness and watch it was my mom it was not us the first time my father ever laid his hands on me was when i was 15 or 16 years old and i was old enough to defend myself and believe me i did when i was done with my father he had a few broke ribs that man never laid his hands on me again These are things that my haters will never tell you that I have witnessed or gone through. I was touched by my grandfather. I was brutally raped at the age of 20. They still have never found the person that did that. Still an open investigation in the city of Bradenton. People have tried to Research the stuff I've said. I've never lied to you guys. Never, not once, about my past, about what I've been arrested for, about what I fought for, what I've been found not guilty for. I've never lied to my audience. Ever. I understand. Some of them are so point, low down. If it's really ruining your reputation and people are so adamant, because this lady, who I just dated for three <laughs> months, 
you know, I do think that uh, your little interview with Betty might have ruined your reputation more than your relationship with May, to be honest. Honestly, uh, I, don't I don't even know. think that's the truth, because I think people respect the fact that I've uh, brought a different light to Betty. And that was my I enjoyed only it. objective. And I think I accomplished exactly what the fuck I wanted to unapologetic as fuck. And I know yeah, it was a, you did a great job. It. And I you did a really good job. Chronicles are shady. Listen, let me tell you this. This is about as much attention attention you're gonna I get. Love Chronicles. Go right. fuck no, yourself. No, no, no. All right. Enough. Go fuck yourself. There's a whole bunch of stuff. It's not just you. Yeah, it's not Betty. just stuff. Oh. It's not, you know, my advocation for different